Okay, my friends, uh, today I'm going to show you how I fix a broken capillary tube. I went on a job last week and the capillary tube broke when I was just um, relocating the evaporator so I could solder the suction joint. Anyway, the, the capillary broke and I didn't have any tubing to put it back together. Now, I've seen a lot of people use quarter inch tubing to uh, connect these two together and then crimp it and it just looks really sloppy. This is a piece of 3 16 tubing. You could use 3 16 tubing, but there's still a lot. There's a lot of play and there's a lot of gap. There's a lot of opportunity for the solder to flow in there and clog up the line. So what I got here was I bought this capillary tube. It's a TC-100. It's got a hundred thousandths ID. And most capillary tubes that we deal with on sub-zeros are around um, OD is about 87 thousandths. So I took a little piece of that 100 thousandths ID tubing and put it together like this. Make it long enough so that you can at least have maybe a half an inch to an inch on each side. And then you would put these two together and then solder them. And in a situation like this, I would use a small tip. So I'm going to use my number three tip to um, solder that together and it's going to come really, it'll be just, it's a much neater job. So we'll put a little flux on there. Could put a little bend in it just so you make sure you don't go in too far but you want to make sure that you get it in at least half an inch away from the joint this is the way i do it anyway it's i think it's a much neater job and that's it To me, that's a much neater job. There you go. See, have less chance for the solder to run inside and clog up the capillary tube. And that's how you do it. Everybody has their own way of doing things. To me, I prefer this way because it's neater and much simpler. Okay, thanks for watching.